Welcome to episode nine of the Boxed In Podcast. I'm Gary McCosker. And I'm uh, Trevor Sobrano. And today our guest is Darius Harris. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Hey, pleasure, to, pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here. I'm glad you came all the way out from uh, Rancho Cucamonga, the um, right. Inland Empire. Yeah, let people know where Rancho Cucamonga is. Rancho okay. Cucamonga, if you ever seen Next Friday, right. which I'm sure everybody <laughs> has, that's um, where Uncle Elroy moved to when he hit the lotto. Right, right. <laughs> We're happy you're here, man. First, oh, no problem, man. First, let's, let's hear a little about you. 154 weight class, right? Yes, 154 pounder. 4-0? 4-0. And uh, currently right now, um, training in Riverside, California? R- Riverside with Henry Ramirez. Um, we got Chris Ariola there and a lot of other um, upcoming prospects. Got a few good amateurs, too. What's the, what's the experience with being someone with Henry that's so well-known in boxing? It's great because, like, you know, Ryan comes to the gym. Mm-hmm. I got to spar with Angulo millions of times. Okay, I fried, is it, I fried Angulo with him right now? Or? Nah, but Angulo but he's just came in. He's like, hey, you're sparring with him today. I'm like, who's right. that? My oh, it's Angulo. Yeah, yeah, you spar yeah. with uh, sort of the... Zuda Ramirez, yeah, yeah, yeah. I spar with him plenty of times, too. That's some good work. Yeah, that's yeah. a big boy. He's way bigger than me. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, that's some a good work, guy. though. We're doing something a little different uh, today on, on the show. Um, you're a vegan boxer. That's not I very common. It's not. And... We got Brian Jennings, if you know who he is. He's a vegan. Brian boxer. Jennings, yeah, Brian Jennings. Oh, is he vegan? From I know that. Yeah. But it's a little Cam, Cam also Tim, Tim, from the amateurs. Tim Bradley. He's a, Tim, Tim Bradley Bradley's vegan? was a vegan during I camps. think he was for a second, but he, yeah. he went back to meat for something. Yeah. yeah. When he, he went back to meat, it seemed like he'd be crying, though. Exactly. You noticed that. Yeah. He should have left. He so, how long have you been vegan for? I've been vegan now for. I started in July 2017. Okay. And we're almost. We're two. Well, a couple months away from July um, 2019, so almost two years. And. Uh, who brought who kind of converted you on the idea of this new lifestyle? Um, I had a friend actually that got sick. Um, she she ended up dying of cancer. Oh wow! And she kept telling me that you know um, it's in the foods, in the foods, in the meat, it's in the meat. The meat is giving is giving cancer, it's giving cancer. And um, I ended up you know just going vegan. I thought it would be harder than it actually is. It's actually easier than I thought it would be, much easier. That's cool. Um, how, how is it difficult to navigate finding food and so forth? Especially when you're out. When you're out right. late, it's hard. Yeah. Especially you're out if you hang out with your friends. Everybody go to Denny's at the word. Right, right. Jack in the box. You looking like the yeah. most common vegan meal? Fries is like you can get it. exactly <laughs> French fries. It's not healthy, but it's like you gotta eat something. Yeah, you, like, yeah. you know what I mean? If you're at Denny's, are you are you gonna get are you gonna get uh, pancakes? You can't get pancakes. Can't eat pancakes. Can't eat pancakes. Really? Can't eat pancakes. It's, it's, and I, eggs. I, don't think, I think it's eggs in it. I don't eggs think it's milk, no, but um. They have vegan pancakes, but they don't have vegan pancakes at Denny's. Right. But the vegan yeah. pancakes probably crumble in a weird way. You know what I mean? It's different, but you know, yeah. I mean... It, but the, bo- the body adjusts too, right? The palate mm-hmm. is adjusting. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah. It's way more easy to maintain my weight as a fighter than as a vegan. Really? I will say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there, is there, are, are your energy levels up? or My energy levels are good. The, the mm-hmm. only downfall to being a vegan is you don't get vitamin B12 from anything. It mostly mm-hmm. comes from meat and dairy products and I took both of that away. So now I actually have to supplement vitamin B twelve and I never had supplements before in my life. So that was a change but um And what is the supplement based out of? Um it's made, it's just vitamin B twelve. It's just straight vitamin B twelve. Okay. Now have you yeah. talked to Brian Jennings or I haven't. I no. wish I, I wish I could talk to him. It's a little different for Brian though because he's a heavyweight. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? But he's built he was built like Evander Holyfield was. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, I think there's a, the the expectation that if you're a vegan that you're not gonna be able to put on that sort of lean muscle size. Oh that's yeah, that's but negative. That's not true. You look that's at That's negative. Uh, it's all about it's not about it's not about um if you're eating meat or not, it's all about if you're getting the right amount of protein, if you're getting the right amount of calories, if you're getting the right amount of fats, the right type of fats, that's what matters, not if you're eating meat or not. That's what people they get the wrong um perception of, of being vegan oh i'm gonna get skinny oh, i'm gonna get now it depends on what you eat if you put in the right if you put in the same amount of protein you put in your body that you were when you eat meat as you are when you're vegan you're mm-hmm. still going to be able to gain weight and keep your weight on if you do that now a lot of people go vegan and they they don't get their protein you know what i mean um, but that's their laziness and not really doing the work to probably find, the lack of knowledge yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. Like, they're resorting to the the, the the potato chips exactly, and the, exactly. And the, and the, it's and no protein, so, yeah. and you know most people don't get, really get much protein anyways. They get it from meat because they right. eat meat. So when you take meat away, unless you're really like into mm-hmm. what you're eating and you know like the nutrition facts, you're not getting any protein. Yeah, especially I, if you I go think, vegan. I think I'd read that spinach actually has more por- per ounce of exactly. protein than, than actual lean. Exactly. Some lean meat does, not all lean meat. I thought so. that was just uh, cartoon propaganda from <laughs> Popeye. Popeye. Yeah. Popeye's, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Papa eat that spinach. <laughs> in regards to actual meal prepping and planning and knowing uh-huh. the nutrition, um, we had an idea today on the show 
to prepare a vegan meal. What are we gonna do? We're, we're, making, making, a, we're making a jackfruit vegan bowl. A fantastic fruit from like the Indian subcontinent. If you've never had it as a sweet, you should try it. How this do you is know? more. How do you know I've been so there, dude. I've been there, dog. And, and not to cut you off, though. Cut me see, off. This. Oh, he said, cut me off. I'm talking about fucking India. <laughs> that that jackfruit, right? That jackfruit, right? Like he said, it's actually a fruit. You could eat it as a fruit, like if you crack open a watermelon. But this part of the jackfruit that we have in this can is the skin from the right. fruit. So it's so, the, it's like the it's like the uh, the waste that would be thrown away if you were eating it for fruit. Exactly. You wouldn't eat this part. So our first step. Fire this what are we doing? Up, we right? find this puppy yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Probably right. put it. I, I imagine we're gonna put it on low. Uh, low. Yeah. yeah. So that we don't burn it too quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put a, put a little, little bit of olive oil. Yeah. I hope it's that's all. A little, that's a lot. Of, look, look, Is look, it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> This is expensive stuff, so I'm glad you're yeah. helping me, you know, skimp and save on it. There, there we go. Okay. You don't want it too much, it'll get too hot and start cooking. I know you had a little cook in you, a little chef in you, you know what I mean? There we go. Yeah. All Bring right. that puppy up. So the first thing is jackfruit, we start there? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. We really don't know what we're doing. So originally we thought that uh, Darius was going to come in and, and cook a meal for yeah, us. Yeah, when I came in, they like, but, uh, are you cooking? You put on yeah, a chef? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, look, but, man. I told him my mom meal preps for me. I get a friend or something. <laughs> I'm not cooking. I just eat. <laughs> so what did we ended up downloading? A, um, what did we downloaded a recipe, right? You kind of sourced the recipe you just, a little bit from your prior knowledge <laughs> and a little bit from the internet. I know you might be an undercover cook. He said he didn't cook. Oh, I used to watch <laughs> cooking shows and cook for uh, cook for my family when I was younger. Okay, so you yeah. cooked before. I, I really don't know how to cook. Okay. Like when you like no jokes. No. <laughs> so you get most of your meals prepped at uh, my mom. There we hook go. That, hook that up. Um, it's starting to make the noise. I mean, it's cooking. We know you, you don't watch the Ryan Garcia fight last night, huh? I didn't get to watch the Ryan Garcia fight, but I seen a clip and it looked like it looked good. You know what? Since he's been training with um, Canelo's Reynoso's, people, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man. It, it's see, a good move. That goes to sell that trainers make a difference. Yeah, they always say, oh, it's going to make a difference in training. That makes a difference. Especially, especially like when a guy's developing his craft and maybe perhaps he hasn't been introduced to a, a new style. All he knew was one style because he was right. loyal to his father. It's, he was with his father for a yeah. long time. It's not saying that that relationship didn't work. It got. It got, 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 got to this point. But yeah. it's all, life is all about evolving and elevation. Yeah. And I'm glad his father was able to understand that. And they, they worked that out and let him go over there so he can evolve and elevate. And they can still be father and son, you know? Also, They're growing yeah. together. Very exciting to see a young man develop his craft in front of us. Most definitely. And, and he looked, and really looks. And he's from the middle great. of nowhere. I don't know if you guys have ever been Victor in Victorville. Right? Yeah. That you is really the think, middle of nowhere. Do you really think you look great on Saturday night? Or do you think that no, no, that opponent didn't give it, him enough? No, 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 no. He looked at, I'm sorry, he looked developed. He was, the great thing about him is there's similarities to what Canelo does, specifically how he sets up. And I could just So he's doing a body shot like that? Canelo well, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy to hear it's, you say that. It's just because I'm, I'm telling but you. But that wasn't necessarily something I picked up on. Oh, really? And well, I'm, I'm, I'm at, in prior episodes, I think viewers, viewers and listeners will know, I'm kind of um, more cautious on the, on, on the team uh, yeah, Ryan, Ryan Garcia, Garcia camp in general. Which I have too. But I, I just didn't see enough last okay. night because it was so fast. I, I'm going to be honest. I've, well, I've been a guy that has said that Ryan Garcia isn't shit. And yeah. I said that for a while. But when that was specifically because of who, you, you know, fighters are going to be a reflection of who they're training with and, and who they're true. learning from. And, when and every, he, but every time you did say that, it was yeah. under, with the premise, premise of... If he gets with the right people, you got an athletic, The premise of he's 19, kid. you know, when he's we first start talking about him, and this I, will happen I, later. I said if they again. take yeah. it the same way that they yeah. went about Canelo's career, I don't see how a guy like this doesn't get, get very successful like Canelo did. Yeah. And seeing him last night, to me, I mean, I don't know what else we could have asked. Of course, we want to see him in different looks, but I give him an eight. Shit, I might even That's give him, good. A, you know... You think, you think he's ready for a Javante? No, hell no. No, no, no. no. Come on. Stay we away. Got, stay away from Javante. Deloitte is smart, though. Deloitte know what he's doing. Well, yeah. But Ryan's smart, too, for he's keep calling smarter. him out. Yeah, you yeah. calling yeah. him out? They're building up so, the fight. So, to the fans, it's like, okay, Ryan wants to fight, so why is the fight not happening? Yeah. They're not knowing that Deloitte is, like, not going to let that happen. But, but, but it's good because you build a fight that way. Exactly. It, take, it takes several years to build a mega fight. We're talking about kids that are to be 20, honest. What twenty? How old is Tank? Twenty one, twenty two. Tank's like twenty three. No, yeah. Tank's twenty four. He's a little older. Yeah. Twenty four. To be honest with you, Tank's, 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 a, Tank's uh, a shorter guy. Ryan came to the gym like a couple months ago for sports. Yeah, Ryan's, Ryan's, Ryan's pretty much my height. Yeah. I, I see Ryan outgrowing Tank, and I, I yeah. see him being. Oh really yeah, bigger. Ryan. Ryan is, that's the thing about a guy that could. Tank be, is only literally Ryan yeah. could be a multi weight divisional yeah. champion if he develops right. Yes, exactly. And they're giving him the right looks, and they bring him along. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing about but with uh, look. One thing we got to say about the kid: the kid's an athlete. He's incredibly quick, and apparently, he's you know, dedicated. He's, too. he's learning. He's dedicated. And, and you can see him learning on the job, and he's getting better. 
So we can't, you know, I, I was a guy that always said the guy has a lot of potential, but didn't think that he had the right people around him. And now with he's the Reynosos, he's making a whole different it, big To difference. me, he looked great. Yeah. So, and I'd love to hate on him. Yeah. You, are you are you on? Uh, did you see anything going? Any of the things going on with Javante this week on Instagram? Is he on? Um, is he I in the club or him. something? Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. he got to stay away from Major yeah. Broner, man. Yeah, that's. He need to go hang out with Earl Spencer, yeah. somebody. He got to yeah. stay away from Broner, man. Broner yeah. be a downfall. And to me, Broner low key jealous of him anyway. Man, he uh, stay away yeah. from that guy, man. We were talking about very. Why would you even put him around that? This is very. You know there's I mean? this very. Um, that's but that's talking as a man and being very honest about it. Be just, honest. Is, is, that, is, that, is that Broner perhaps could be in a position where you know that Javante is going to be something Let that's me mess this up for him. I messed it up for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, but you want, everybody want, you know, the one thing about Javante is I think Javante would be better off if he, if he wasn't training at home. That if, if and that's what Floyd said. Floyd said he looked way better in Vegas. He was in shape. He was just yeah, that, that He's sure. around all that. And he gets so big. I heard he ballooned up to like 170 pounds. I'm like, dang, it's no yeah, way he should be my weight. Yeah, you know what I yeah, mean? No way. Yeah. Especially, uh, Javante's maybe what? Javante's 5'4", 5'5". Yeah, that's yeah. little. He's yeah. smaller than Adrian Broner. And yeah, Adrian yeah. Broner's 5'6". If you want to learn how to mess up your career, follow the Adrian Broner blueprint. <laughs> the, you know the, I mean? the thing, though, that I'll say about Broner, which has made him so marketable, yeah, is, no. is that he's known how to put on that, that facade to sell himself. He took but the, there, he, only he, he, so he, many people could play that role. You can't have, you he, can't have everybody a heel no. in the business. That, that you can't co- I mean, copy the, you're cra- right, copy the blueprint if you want to fail, if you want to Yeah, you want him. Yeah. It's crazy because as far, far as the being, being, I wanted to know, as far what's as the as, Oh, the hemp. Should oh. we put on the hemp? Talk a little bit about hemp and the benefits there because. Hemp seeds, man, you yeah. get protein from these. You know, as being a vegan, it's hard for us to get protein. And, um, Hemp seeds is a good way to get you some good protein. Also, these black beans is good for protein too. Especially, um, black beans are good, period. You know, I didn't really eat black beans much until I went vegan, but yeah, I like them now. Yeah, but I mean, the, the bringing up Broner, knowing that Broner puts himself in great places mm-hmm. to, to have these mega fights because he plays the villain so well. Yeah, he and, does. and part of Broner, I remember having a, um, a long time ago, I had a conversation with Nazim Richardson, Bernard Hopkins trainer. Uh-huh. And I guess Nazim had said that, uh, he, that Broner used to come to Philadelphia and that Broner's sort of always been like that. So that really is himself. That's him. That's him. him. Exactly. Okay. So, you know, but gosh, you're talking about a guy that's has made a lot of money being himself. Yeah, and uh, we can when when he says you know at the end of fights it doesn't matter because you guys are gonna watch me fight again and people watch him and if people watch him and it's also not and when he fight again I'm he gonna watch to, him he comes to fight yeah we and want, he's fought yeah all top guys he didn't duck anybody when he got up there after Madonna he just kept fighting tough to people tough yeah he so, did win he there were moments so he the, didn't beat the top guy you yeah. know you're right when, when you're when you're, you're fighting right. the other alpha males speaking of Madonna. Oh, yeah. He's looking. He's looking trim. He's I did not back. imagine that, that. He had blewed up to two, ballooned up to two fifteen. Two fifteen is that? Was, was that the number? Yeah, and they said his first fight back would be at fifty two. Have you seen Madonna in person? How tall is he? I, I I went to the fight when he fought Floyd the second time, but I wouldn't. I didn't. You know, we couldn't really size yeah, him yeah, up. Yeah. I didn't get up on him like that. I think he's five eight though too. I think him and Floyd is the same height. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you'd see the you'll see a picture of a side by side on. On the boxing oh, TLDR uh, Instagram, if you wanted to check it out. Hey, Broner changed um, Madonna's Broner's life by, by fighting him because once he fought him, that's when he got him the Floyd fight. Absolutely. And I, think, I think Floyd kind of underestimated Madonna in the first fight, too. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. well, see, the second fight, he had a whole different game plan. But, but they also didn't know the refs made a sort of agreement for the first my- Floyd fight because the. The ref was very active, not not very active in the first fight. Yeah, he let, they let him do whatever. They let but him Marcos Maidana, Maidana, because of that, because he let him, because he stayed out of it, Marcos Maidana gave Floyd Mayweather the biggest challenge. For that first fight, yeah. Shane Mosley is the guy that comes to mind. Um, in like two, but Shane only gave him one round. In one or two yeah. sequences of that um, entire fight, though. That whole that was fight, right? he was on there's a couple of exchanges that oh, um, he stung him. But that's, you know, he'd always said that Emmanuel Augustus. You guys know Emmanuel Augustus? Oh yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, yeah. journeyman. Yeah. But they yeah. said he got more wins than really that. They say he got yeah, robbed yeah. all the time. Yeah, James Tony came out and said they robbed him because of his recently stop. they yeah. was talking the about the drunken master. Were they called? Yeah, the drunken master. Yeah, yeah, he's beautiful. He got shot. Can you pass me all those waters and let me explain to him why I'm drinking all these waters? I'm actually um, five days out from the fight, from the weigh-ins, actually. I actually um, drink a lot of water um, to cut weight. Yeah, I drink water to cut weight. It might, not, it might sound crazy, but it's, it's, you know, it's a science and it's a method to everything, you know? 
Yeah, most, yeah. Pe- most people don't know. Explain that. They don't that's, know. I believe. Go into detail about it. So oh, that, that's something we were talking about. It's also kind of a kept secret, though. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people think you need to dehydrate yourself. Yeah. People go in and fight all drained. So we've talked about, the, we talked about this a little bit before the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard about this from MMA guys. But Me backgrounds too. in wrestling. And yeah, I was, wrestling. Okay. So from what I understand, it's two gallons of water, right? The first day. A gallon and a half. The second day. A gallon. Oh, he knows what's yeah, going on. Four, he yeah, knows yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, the and third day. And then, and then, 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 then 24-hour drive then, fast. Half a gallon, boom. Then yeah. after that, it's a liter. A liter. Then, then at the last day, you get to drink a liter. Yeah. And then you don't drink anything to weigh in. Right, right. But your body is still taking you Wait, to the restroom. Wait, the, when's, like the when's the last day, though? The last day of the day before weigh in? The day before weigh in. So that you only drink a liter of water, one liter. So when your body and you're, not, you're not eating one bite of food. Nah, you eating. I, I, I do 50 grams of carbs a day. You eat every day as much as much as you want, as long as you stay on a 50 gram of carbs a day. You eat as much as you want. See, that's little, the thing. Little rice or no rice. Rice got too much carbs. Yeah, it's too much starch. See, too that's much carbs. why I use oh, hemp, hemp seeds. Hemp seeds. So this only has one gram of carbs. Exactly. That's wow. why I'm, I, I use hemp. Yeah. Specifically for when I'm when you're cutting, cutting weight, weight okay. because it have carbs in it, I still get my protein. Right. Because I can't. Norm- normally, I wouldn't, but since you guys are cooking this meal, I just run it off. I wouldn't have black beans right now. Okay. But, but because I'm, of I'm, sodium content, right? Not because of the sodium, because it has a lot of carbs. Okay. In my last five days, I only used 50 grams of carbs a day. Okay. But this cap, this this weight cut, I'm only going to do 50 grams of carbs a day for the last four days because my weight is already lower. So I don't need to cut as much weight. <laughs> do you ever trip out when you're at the Tijuana show and you see people hand wrapping in, in that, that long? They're, they're little, <laughs> like that. Well, it'd be different shows at uh, certain ones. Yeah. But what, you know what tripped me out recently? Boxing is actually getting way bigger in Tijuana. Yeah. Eddie Hearn was in Tijuana doing a show on the zone when Van Rios fought. That's wow. That's right. That's right. Yeah, out I way that. from the UK. I'm yeah. like, okay. Tijuana Dude, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing, and when he brought it over here, they Matchroom Boxing U- USA, he's doing a much better job than some of our... Eddie Hearn is big for boxing. He, he started with a billion dollars, right? Uh, is, is, is that, that right? The, is that coffer, that? the coffer was a billion. He had a billion dollars to work with. So, you know... Oh, yeah, you could do a lot with, you could do a lot with a billion dollars. Dollars. That's a whole different ball game. Well, all, all I'm saying is we haven't seen anything from, let's say, Gary Shaw Promotions. We haven't... I haven't heard. I haven't heard right. Gary Shaw. I'm talking about. Uh, we, so we still have Top Rank, and we still have yeah. Golden Boy, and obviously the Al Heyman. Can we aura. all collectively agree like the shows are getting better? Yes, you know, yes, yes. That, but what I'm saying is, yeah, I, as the other more. American, yeah. as the other American promoters, when was the last time? Uh, uh, I guess, I guess Kovalev, but he kind of yeah. after losing, maybe and it's been less. So. Made these other main events hasn't been around as much. Gary Shaw hasn't been around as much. Well, I would say Lou DiBella is, but now Lou DiBella is kind of part of. Uh, Kathy Duba, Kathy Duba, well, there's some, something, yeah, yeah. there's Debella. But no, I was going to say he's part of Al Heyman now because I think those right. Brooklyn boxing shows are in conjunction with yeah. each other. Yeah. It's about. great for boxing because for years we heard some, we, we kept on hearing, oh, MMA's going to take over. Yeah, MMA's going to take over, boxing's dying and so forth. Now it's like MMA is dying. Yeah, well, I think. They got it on ESPN. No, they, they got both of them. I mean, MMA they're is both doing, they're both yeah, the MMA is not as big as it was when Ronda Rousey was just oh, fighting, no. and when Conor was fighting, they, they didn't took a dive down yeah. a little bit. And, 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 and remember, this is all. I mean, you can all look at the data, the pay per view numbers, and the pay per view. I'm just and the, facts. And another thing too is that when they made it, when they made it uh, exclusive, when they when they when it used to be free, it was growing at a rapid rate, and they took it away from from TV. It's not to say that's yeah, not growing. So you want me to add this, uh, the corn is I think you should put the corn in there. What do you think? What's that? And uh, oh, that's a, that's I mean, you could. I mean, I've never seen it done like that, but hey, we, we trying things. Should we try? Trying <laughs> Come on. Why not? <laughs> so this guy never stops grinding. Never. Um, it's the NSG lifestyle. I don't just wear it and rock it on my clothes. I got to live it, you know? I can't. You got to practice what you preach, you know? You can't you can't preach it and not live it, you know? Can, can you talk about how important important that is as a fighter and knowing that you run deeper than most cats because you, so you're important. doing the extra work. Do you do a lot of drill work still? A lot of what? Drills. Drill work. Who? Drill work. Oh, drill work. Yeah, of yeah. course. With, with another another boxer. In no, I don't get to corner. do I don't get to do that as much. No. Yeah. Henry Henry wants to bang it out. We See, that's it the thing. Out um, I'm not gonna I, I worked, wants to bang it out. Coach, um, for, sh- for one summer, I was doing kind of an internship um, in a, like a summer job in Kansas City and I was able to work with um in the gym also with uh John Brown John Brown over there and he ran his his he has a fantastic amateur program called mm-hmm. uh, Turner Boxing and actually one of the kids uh um his name is Marcel um he just 
qualified for. I think I think he's going to be able to go into the. Um, Is it 2020 Olympics? The 2020, team? not not the Olympic team, but he he's got a, a seat in in the qualifier. Okay, because he, he just won, he just won like, Reno, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 he just won Reno. Tell anyway. them about Reno for the people that don't understand that Reno had just had a huge tournament. So uh, you tell them actually. <laughs> USA boxing. You're more connected with the amateur. Yeah, yeah, USA point. boxing just had a huge tournament yeah. out in Reno. This uh, this gosh, the whole week. And uh, yeah, there, there's a whole bunch of they're, they're basically finding the winners for the different weight divisions for the amateurs, but these kids are all lining themselves up for, for positions to be on the 2020 Olympic team. Right. So they, uh, they got these kids from um, in San Bernardino, out in Close Meyer, from a gym called Fights. Man, they they've been winning everything. Shouts out to them. What's the um, kid's name? So um, want to... Ter Terry Williams is one of the names. Uh -huh. And then Lolo Harris is one of them. No, names. Lolo. Okay, I've seen Lolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lolo's yeah, he a just great won. fighter. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a great fighter. I want to finish my fight. Shout out to him. Reminds me of a, it reminds me of Zab Judah, like because the, the in and out. Like, yeah, the he's in. Yeah. He's, yeah. So I wanted to finish my thought on on, on John Brown's camp and the, and um, all of his amateurs there. That was the only gym I had ever spent time in where they really did drill work. work. And it makes a they, difference. They, there is a different skill level with with those kids he has there. Um, it's and the basics. People don't understand the basics. Have. And other gyms I've been in LA, it's more of like, a, show me you got a pair of balls. That's what it is. Rather than it's like a fight. You go in rather there. than let's teach this kid all this stuff. We're, we're big. I don't know what that is. Yeah. If that's if that's because I've been in only Mexican well, gyms, well, or if that's just because I've been the white boy that needs to prove he has balls. Well, you got a target thing. on your back, bro. The minute you walk into yeah, the gym. but but um. what I'm saying is <laughs> I've never been in a gym where they yeah. teach those kinds yeah. of things. So Jack Rabbit do drill work. Yeah, I've never do, done drill work. We do a lot of we do a lot of uh, so we do a lot of drill work over at Jack Rabbit's. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you know drill work. When I think of uh, Vir Virgil. Virgil Hunter. Hunter, right? Andre Ward said trainer. And you see, you see yeah, what yeah, Andre Ward. You see what Andre Ward did, and you can also see that Virgil's fighters all have um, a specific skill set that you can see that they fell under Virgil's teachings, mm -hmm. and that they did a lot of the drills necessary to develop their craft mm -hmm. and to come along, you know, to to be the fighters they are today. Listen, with the amateurs, it's no secret that the Cubans have been able to. So doing right the, yeah, the, the, the the Cubans have been able to, to develop fighters because of drills. It's, it's real smart. And it's also to know something too with the, with the trainers. They have mm -hmm. to keep their egos in check. Exactly. Because they're not the ones in, they're not the ones that Ain't are going no home punches. sore. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not the ones that, that that are rubbing their 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 ribs when they're falling asleep because. You know, it might be. Uh, it yeah, might be I, I, I had a fractured rib, yeah, cracked rib before. I know. It in the morning or at nighttime. And, Even uh, when you get out the bed, you right. feel it. When you, you walk, you feel it. When you talk, you get, feel get it. When you laugh, the, you feel it. The shower it. slow or you everything know. is bad. So they gotta know. Hey, listen. I know when to work a kid. I know when not to work a kid. I know when to put him in the put him in the kitchen where the where, where the uh, mm -hmm. the fire where it's getting hot in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And they know when to pull back. So mm -hmm. I wish more trainers were out there doing drills. And it makes a difference, though, because you can see when Canelo's skill set. Like, Canelo oh, yeah. has skill. Absolutely. He can box. He can go forward. Yeah. He can go left. He can go right. That dude got skills. He really has skills. Well, like, I'm thinking about him and Danny Jacobs, huh? This is oh, a, man. I it's can't a great wait. fight. Hey, I don't know what Danny, I don't know if Danny Jacobs is, what's, what, what Danny Jacobs is going to show up. Because his last couple of fights, he didn't look like the Danny Jacobs. In, it, he didn't look like the Danny Jacobs in the Triple G <laughs> fight. Danny Jacobs, man, I don't know, man. To be honest, I feel like. Canelo is younger and slicker and more developed man it, people yeah. don't want to talk about Canelo has a more developed craft exactly I like when, that dude is good I really I really I like Danny when he was with when he was with Virgil when they brought him in for the triple G fight who is he, who, yeah so he's not with yeah. Virgil this time well I mean he's with Andre uh, Rosier the guy that owns Havoc he needs to go um, back whoever he had for the triple G fight he need him for Canelo for and, sure. and, and I think that and he's with Virgil Hunter he, they brought in Virgil because it was such a big stakes fight, which makes complete well, sense. Uh, did they bring him in this time? No, not for. It's, I haven't. No. It's, it's something we'd have to check. Right. So we're checking Danny we're Jacobs' talking. Instagram to see whether or not he's with Virgil. I don't think he is. I don't think he is either. No, I would have heard about it. I know yeah. Virgil tra trained. And you know, he's, he's working on the nutrition he, side of things with uh, uh, Chris Algieri. Yeah, which, which I, I think is pretty interesting. Chris, great. I think th I think when I first found out about this whole weight loss thing with the article, Chris Algieri's name. Chris Algieri is, is the like. He's he, the guy. As far as the boxing world as far as the science community he's the one who knows it man and he's got a that, masters right that dude masters and uh, i'm not sure if his whatever whatever it is he's a smart dude um and have you it's normal for fighters to get off weight and get fat not not everyone gets as fat as madonna but all right so we're talking about some big names um hey i heard that um dominic brazil is working with virgin hunter for the Deontay fight. Oh, really? That's yeah. what I wanted to talk about. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about I, Deontay. I, so, because um, so, I thought Dom, Dominique was with Manny Robles for a long, long time. 
Hey, he said for this fight, man, he's gonna need some extra help. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't hey, give him much of a chance. Yeah. Against well, well, but I, I'm not gonna go. Look, listen. Any with the bigs, it only takes one, right? Mm-hmm. With the heavyweights, um, Deontay has proven. Deontay Pico. has proven to, to everybody that he could take a shot. Specifically, yeah, because that that was the thing everybody was saying for a while. Oh, can, the Lewis, because he got rocked by Eric Molina, so everybody's yeah. like, "But you, if you just boxing." And then I think he got hurt with uh, David Hay in sparring. He was a younger guy. He's still, yeah, exactly. still selling his oats. So that's what everybody was trying to say. He can't take a punch. And but then, man, the shot that he took from Luis Ortiz. I was I was front row at that fight right oh, there. Oh, okay, yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about. You and Deontay are boys, right? Yeah, that, that's like How did that me. happen? Like, how do you know? It's what, crazy. What? This is how I met Deontay Wilder, man. We was at the Floyd Mayweather Madonna fight. Okay. Um, he had a relationship with my sister. And my sister had floor seats. Relationship? What kind of relationship? No, not that type oh, of relationship. Right. They just, yeah. they're, they're friends. Just check out. Just make sure. Just make sure. <laughs> and, um, that's a tough situation to be in. That's, uh, um, and then um, after the fight, you know, I'm trying to get down to the floor. My sister's already down on the floor because, you know, she high end. She can pay for that type of stuff. I'm just happy to be at the fight. And I get down there, and she introduced me to him. And ever since then, we had a relationship. And one day, um, she was on the phone with him. And this is when I was getting tired a lot. I didn't understand the, the mental aspect of the game. I was running and working out, but I was still getting tired every time I was fighting. I couldn't understand it. When the problem was I wasn't relaxed enough, and I, I didn't know how to breathe cor- correctly. And my sister told Deontay about it. She said, hey, give him my number. I want to I talk to him. I want to um, um, give him some pointers. And he, and he told me how to breathe, and he told me to relax more. And ever since then, believe it or not, mm-hmm. I do not get tired. I can go rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds. Mm-hmm. As long as I've been sparring, I will not get tired. And that breathing um, exercise um, worked for me. And we just built off that relationship. You want to speak on the breathing exercise? You feel like you're giving away something to the. To the I don't public. know if you want me giving out all yeah, that, no, all that sauce yeah. on there. No, dude, you can't, <laughs> you can't give us your meal plan and yeah, yeah, yeah man. We're trying to, we're trying to hey, this looks really meat. good though, bro. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm so I, I get one or two or three. Uh, well, yeah. one for now, and then we'll have leftovers for sure. Wow. Right? We'll, well, well, I might eat all these right now. <laughs> so talking about talking about Deontay Wilder, Deontay, and the possibility of Anthony Joshua. And and what you think? I mean, this is. I think it's just so much politics in it, man. Right. This is so much going on. I think Eddie actually kept um, Joshua from Deontay recently. Like That's after true. he fought Luis Ortiz, yeah. that fight could have happened. Like I said with Deontay, That's, yeah. I well, seen some personal. He want to make the money overseas for for for. That's he he want to build the fight let's, up. Let's be honest though, Deontay rejecting the Dazon deal. It's it's more than you means, know. But but it means it means. That no one's rejecting that kind of money unless they've got a bigger. No, plan. it means that I think it. I think it means that the yeah. Fury deal is on the table. Who's to say that they didn't offer him all that money? Where did that come from? Did the, the guy? I don't from know DAZN, where that came from. Did the guy way. from the zone ever say that? The the head guy, he never said I'm offering Deontay ninety million dollars. Yeah, I don't know. Who, and don't it know wasn't just with the zone. To be honest with you. And you know, Shelly Finkel and Eddie Hearn oh, yeah. don't have the best relationship. I don't know if you yeah, guys know yeah, Shelly yeah, Finkel. Yeah. And she's a manager this, or his lawyer? Or? No, you don't know Sh- Sh- Shelly's a man- manager. He's, he's Deontay's. No, I was trying to shame me for not. Oh, no, I know who he is. I he's Deontay's uh, manager. <laughs> people don't, with, a lot of people don't know about the, that the Zones deal. It had something to do with Matchroom, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they don't, Eddie Hearn and Deontay and Shelly Finkel, they don't have the best relationship. Right. So originally they thought they were just, the deal was going to be fully with the, um, the, the head of the Zone. But Matchroom was in the contract. So Deontay would have been like signed with Matchroom. Mm-hmm. You know, Al Heyman and Shelly did not want that to happen. Al Heyman mm-hmm. and Shelly went and sat down with the... Regardless, I'm not so worried about it because here's the deal. They're it leaves, fight it leaves, it leaves Fury yeah. It leaves Fury rematch on the table. The, the, because, yeah. but, because, but to be honest, but, like, but, I don't think Fury... But not then, to say that Fury doesn't want that smoke, but I don't think that Fury's... He's, he's cool. He's going to get that money fighting. He's going to get that money anyway. So regardless... Of, and, I think he does, though. One thing that I... I, think one thing I don't I, think he does. One do. thing that I say about the Deontay Fury rematch, and just to be honest with you, yeah, good. I thought, I thought, in my opinion, that I thought that Fury won the first fight. However, in the second fight, I think that Deontay goes out there and just like his second performance with Bermain Severn, clips him very early within the first four rounds. Deontay was too excited for Derek, that fight. He was, I, I, I went, think, he was trying... He was trying... He wanted to knock him out so but, hard, so he's Every time Deontay... Um, I basically, I, I think, decided he was going to d- dog him out. That's he when had, he had success. Well, he did, when, but, when, when Deontay threw it straight, that yeah. one, two, and yeah. the hook, yeah. that's when he landed. When he was trying to go all wild yeah, with yeah, never yeah. hand, it was yeah. it was the textbook one, two that, that dropped him. Yes, please. The, the, thing, the other thing I'd like to say about Deontay is, is that when people are talking about the way that he punches, 
it drives me a little crazy because <laughs> it's it's when Deontay Wilder, if he misses a right hand, a lot of times when he's throwing a right hand, you're dealing because he's such a long guy. You're dealing with his he's forearm. Long. You're dealing with his elbow. He knows All how to push problem. your head. Yeah. He's a very physical guy, and and this there's a reason why this guy's going to be a champion. And, and 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 it's his mentality that that I think that I'm that's so, the most thing he believes so in. This, yeah, with. it's and to know that Anthony Joshua too has that sort of mentality. But as far as a rawness, as far as Deontay Wilder having something yeah. that that I think that that might put him above Anthony Joshua, I see that. And De- De- Deontay just is, has a hunger to him that he really wants it. Yeah, and, and he and wants I, it, wants it like it, he he believes and it in his heart. He wants it bad. Like he Anthony Joshua is not as vocal see, that's what about I think having a desire with the fight with Deontay Wilder. As he's I not, believe, as I believe, and he, he's been, he's been doing it locally because he yeah. know he he, right. know, he can put it, he can sell the fans 000. the fans put yeah. that pressure on him like you know what I mean. But I don't know if the Tyson Fury rematch should ever happen because Tyson his team around him like what sense that make? Why take the chance? You already he's gonna make great money. Yeah, yeah. like what is yeah, the point? You. Yeah. you came back from mental health issues. You did the, like why why take you know? There's just no point in it. <laughs> Top of you. Never. <laughs> Never a meal without tapatio. You can't be in a Southern California household and not have tapatio. Hey, I, pr- I appreciate yeah. this meal, fellas. Oh, this yeah, good. man. I appreciate you coming out here. This has been fun. Oh, no problem. No problem. Get a few mm. bites. Let's get a real quick review. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You good. I thought you were not a cook, bro. Well, you know, I'm trying. Well, I gotta yeah, make this again you for coach, sure. You coach them along, you know. We ain't gotta kill no more chickens if we get everybody yeah. on this. Yeah, everybody <laughs> needs to be on the jackfruit. I got bad news for you. What? Hmm? That's why I go, that's why I go down the top down Guadalajara so much. To kill some chickens? I had a chicken farm down there. Oh man! I'm sorry, bro. You're part of the problem. I'm part of the problem. But to be honest, I love animals and all, but that's not why I went vegan. Like, they got I'm animals. Vegan for the for the health benefits. Exactly. The they got animals. If we go into the raw safari, it's gonna eat us. Right. <laughs> you, you, ever think, you ever think about that? Like we're, we don't have to worry about being on the food chain anymore. You know what I mean? Like, that's why that, 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 like that's why humans, we became soft. You, this, this is why, this is why every, no matter who you are, if you're in the ocean, you have that moment where you feel scared because you just, you realize, hey man, I could be on the food chain right now. Same concept yeah. is why you yeah. have this and I have this. Right. That would not have happened if we were still on the food chain. Right, 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 right. Those calories would have been burnt. We would be on the move. We'd be chasing our next meal, running away from the next. I, from the, I just know. can't imagine being on the food chain every day. Man, this is so bomb. It was also, too, right. kind of what you, what you you alluded to earlier. Is you had a friend that, that passes away, that cancer is becoming mm-hmm. more exactly. and more of an endemic. And, and more younger people yeah, are getting younger She was only 20, 26 years old when she and, passed away. And we're not having a conversation about the things that we're putting into our bodies. Exactly. Every day. It's important. Yeah, it's very important. Especially when you think about, you know, we take, we, we're only the looking ones, at The time. ones down in Guadalajara are all organic. We're not putting nothing. Oh, because, in. oh, yeah. what, are you guys giving the, um, the 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 feed? What the corn feed? I'm saying, we're, yeah, we're going all healthy. They're smaller, man. This is what you got. This is what you got to realize about eating animal. If that animal is sick, yeah. who's to say you cooking all that sickness out before you eat it? Right. That's true. Who's to say? Like mad cow all over again. Exactly. You. I mean, say you are having organic animal. Who's that was the organic sick animal? How does that work? What if it's some stuff you can't cook out? Yeah, I used to be 230 pounds. Yeah. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. What? I come from I come from a big family, dude. Uh-huh. And I walk around between 165 and 175. Did you, did you play any sports in high school? Or? I used to run track. Um, I played a little bit of basketball. Well, done, like, you did the shot put. I did no 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 no. I did distance distance yeah. running. Wow. Mm-hmm. And 200 pounds. I went 200 pounds. In high oh, school. you got fat after. I got I got fat about 12th okay. grade year. Gotcha, gotcha. 12th grade year, I got fat. I got. I That's when it happens. That's when it happens when you quit this sports. Was what, this was what really got me. So you, went, you joined boxing late. You came. To the I used to box. I used to box at nine years old, actually. And Darius, where, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at deactive underscore nsg. And you know nsg stands for never stop grinding. Mm-hmm. I always got to say that. <laughs> and uh, we we hope you do uh, check him out for his next fight. Um, yes. it's only a, it's only a matter of, of weeks before you're making your first fight in the U.S. So it's my good first time. professional fight. First in professional US. fight in the U.S. Of course, and um, it's you know a good time for people to get on board. Most so. definitely, perfect time, man. And also, and this, this guy's got a lot of followers. So he's he's quite a social media guy. So I got if a you want to see, I got a little bit of yeah. followers. I, I post every day to see let everybody see my day to day life, and I like to motivate people. I'm a motivational person, and and people people respond to it because people yes. have grown to following. And you, then so. you then you see. People, when I see people tagging me in NSG, like even if they don't have my gear, they'll be like, NSG, I'm working out, I'm running. NSG, I'm doing this. Like it's motivation. That's what NSG is about. It's about motivating people. And everybody join the movement, man. NSG movement. Never stop grinding. If you need some apparel or gear, hit me up on my um my Instagram. I'm going to have the website up soon. 
I love and that. Even if you don't buy any gear, still join the movement, man. When you yeah. when you run and think NSG, never stop grinding. I got to get to my goals. I got to get where I got to go. I never stop grinding. I got to get what I want. I will have it. Darius, where, where do you see yourself in two years? In two years? Um, in two years, the plan is in, in two years to be set up for a title shot. Or have a title. You never know. Active. When you stay, when you stay busy and when you stay in shape, you might get that call. Somebody can get injured. Anything can happen. You could be a replacement. Anything can, look at yeah. Jaime, Jaime Muguer, I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, nobody knew who he was, nothing. Came out of the clear blue sky, mm -hmm. called him to fight Saddam Hussein. They thought they had a pick and uh, no, they no, had no, no. Saddam Ali. Oh. Saddam Hussein, we put him away years ago. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Saddam, yeah, Saddam Ali. Is Saddam a Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they called him for him and he upset him. Thank you guys for watching. And th hey, Please thanks subscribe. for having me. Follow this guy. Appreciate it, guys.